Hey guys, what's up? I'm Joss and I'm here with Richard and we're continuing our uh, 30 clubs with 30 recaps, a weekly wrap up where we're pretty much talking about of last week's games and the weekend prior than that Thursday when the season actually started. Um, so let's talk about this. Richard, what's going on, my man? Not too much. Alright, um, where did we left off? We left off with the Colorado Rockies and we're going to pick it up with the Cincinnati Reds. This team... Very phenomenal so far. Uh, the Brewers are a game and a half back from first place. Zach Greinke still has not made a start yet. Richard, is the is, are the Reds going into this year going to be the champion this uh, the champions of the Central? I should say. No, I, I don't think so. Um, they don't really have a, a similar team to last year. Um, the rotation is not all. I mean, it's, it's not terrible by any means, but it's definitely not up there with the Brewers when the crank is healthy. Um, I think uh, Scott Rowland is one of the key pieces, but uh, I, I don't. I don't think they'll win the division. I think that it's going to be Brewers. Yeah, uh, Ramon Hernandez. I think he's batting pretty good. Joey Votto. How's Jay Bruce going? Do you know? Uh, Jay Bruce. Um, well, I, again, it is Jay Bruce. He's a. Uh, he's uh, definitely. Uh, I think he's gonna have a pretty decent year. Uh, again, uh, right now he's doing actually not so high. He, uh, he's batting, uh, according to Baseball Reference, he's batting two twenty, uh, with fifteen Ks. Uh, really slow start. Almost uh, Mark Teixeira like. <laughs> um, but he's not doing so hot right now. Yeah, so I bet the Reds will pick up uh, where they... Well, they're doing pretty well, so hitting-wise and pitching-wise, I think they can pick it up. But they're still in first place, so it's pretty much nothing to worry about unless they're a game and a half, a half a game back. Um, on to the San Diego Padres. This team is in fourth place right now out of 5-6 and six record. This team really surprising last season. No Gonzalez right now. Uh, Richard... How will, will this team uh, come up with their upcoming schedule? Uh, their upcoming schedule? Yeah, they're play they're at Houston. How well will they play against Houston? I think they'll play pretty good against Houston. I mean, Houston by no means a heavyweight of, the, of baseball. Uh, yeah, I think that they're pitching and they carry them again like they're pitching did last year. Yeah. Uh, I think it's pretty much like they don't have that. I don't know if they have that main power hitter yet. I mean, Orlando Hudson, that guy's bats for average. Nick Hundley, I've never seen that guy go that long that much. Chase Headley, that third baseman, I don't really see him hitting that much that far. Jorge Cantu, that guy, I think he's playing first base still. I don't really see that guy hitting it out there. Cam and Maven, no. Um, they just got to find that solid power hitter. I mean, Brad Hopp, that guy is... It, he's decent, but he, I don't think he's going to pick up. But going into the Houston, they're on the road against Houston right after the series against the Reds. I really think that the Potters are doing pretty well against Houston. On to the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, Zach Greinke not yet to make the start. Richard, what is the update on Greinke? Uh, well, he is doing better. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, I think he'll make a start in early May. I guess I'm expecting him back. Uh, I think he'll be, think he'll be in uh, tip top shape by the time he's done. Yeah, uh, I hope that's what I want to hear from him. Uh, Granky, a really great, great pitch that I, I always used to love watching when he's on the mound when he played for Kansas City. Is this, is he gonna have an MVP season when he comes back or a Cy Young season? I don't think it's going to happen. No, I don't think he'll have a Cy Young season. He's already like out of attention for it since he's been injured. Or almost a month, but um, I, I think he'll uh, be pretty decent. I can see 14, 15 wins coming out of him. Uh, I think he's, he's going to have another Granky like season. Yeah. Um, on to the Florida Marlins. Today, Josh Johnson, seven solid innings, no hit innings until the bottom of the seventh, until I, th I don't know who exactly gave up the hit. I don't even know who they're playing. I think it was the Braves. I mean, the Braves yep. last season, I think they already got no hitted by uh, Ubaldo. So the hope, yep. the, they just really have, just had to say, no, we're not giving another no hitter for the second straight season. So, how will, will this, how will, how are these Marlins going to be this season? 
so far? I think uh, so far, um, Marlins. So far, uh, I think off the top of my head, I think they are in third or fourth place. Uh, let me pull up the standings real quick. Uh, Marlins, Marlins. Oh, and second place, wow. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, Josh Johnson, uh, probably one of the most underrated pitchers in the National League. Um, I, I mean, he's going to carry this team on his back if they have any shot at a wild card contention, because I don't think they can win the division by any means. But, uh, yeah, I think they're doing pretty good right now. Six and five, uh, for a second place team that's kind of unheard of, but I think they're going to float around. Yeah. Um, next, on to the New York Mets. Being a David Wright fan, and that's the only thing I really enjoy about the Mets. Richard, how well are the Mets doing right now, and what is what really needs to improve for this team? <laughs> well, uh, they're 4-7 and seven right now, and there's not really one thing that you improve on. They're just so dismantled. It's, it's tough. Uh, I mean, Jason Bay is awful for them since they got them at the agency. Um, they need Yohan's injured until June or July. Their pitching has been horrendous. Uh, um, they, uh, they have a guy that they get picked up in the Rule 5 draft. Brad Emes is their starting second base. This club is just totally in disarray. I mean, sure, they, they could potentially compete for something if they're on fourth place. I don't think they're going to do, I don't think they're going to really do anything this season. They're uh, have yeah. a lot of stuff to work on. Yeah, they have to work on something. I mean, if Johan Santana, if he can come back maybe next season, I know he's not going to do anything this season if he gets off the DL or not. Um, if Johan's healthy, I mean, this team could possibly have a turnaround next season, but I don't think this season is going to go anywhere for that Mets team. Um, next. On to the Baltimore Orioles. This team is really challenging. I mean, the race is so close for the Yankees. They're tied up at a 6-4 and four record. The Yankees picked up the victory today, keeping the series, well, the division-wise, uh, for first place tied up with Toronto back one game. Uh, Toronto, uh, Tampa Bay follows up. They're at 3-8. and eight. And then the terrible Boston Red Sox. No disrespect to any Boston fans. They're 2-9 and nine with four games back. Richard... What is Baltimore going to do to keep at least a playoff worth alive or maybe a division champion? Well, they need their pitching to continue. They need their bullpen to be lock, stock, and barrel, and their offense needs to quick. That's a lot. Uh, I have said it time and time again over talking with you on these videos. The Baltimore Orioles, this is no disrespect to Orioles fans, they're not going to win the division. They're not going to win the wild card. They're not going to do anything. They started off hot last year, too. They were in first place for a while, and they sunk. Uh, this team is not going to stay afloat. Even if they start, even they're, they're tied for first place right now, but they're going to finish in fourth place, in fifth place. Um, I always, I think the, Bal the Baltimore is going to do pretty decent. It's either going to be Hopefully, if this team can be a surprising wild card, it could the wild card wild card could go either to the Tigers, the uh, the Twins, it could go to Oakland, it could beat anybody in this division really. But I really think that Baltimore has a shot. Every team has a shot so far, but I think Baltimore has it. And everybody's saying that Jeremy Guthrie is gone by the deadline. He's a big trade candidate. I just seriously think that Baltimore should trade Jeremy Guthrie because their pitching is terrible. They're relying on their hitting right now, and they just got to go to work. Um, we got to pick up the pace on these videos, so it could possibly be a part three, but it's going to be worth it. So, um, On to the Philadelphia Phillies. Richard, what can we say on the Phillies real quick? All of the Phillies. Uh, you know, R2C2, Roy, Holly, Roy, Oswald, Cole, Hamill, and hopefully they're doing tremendous. Uh, as we expected, holiday has been... Uh, I think he's the head of the star today. Uh, awesome, awesome game for him. Very intriguing. Uh, nice for the Twins of Division. Yeah. So I really think this team is really going to go somewhere. The Detroit Tigers, what can we say to pick up the pace of the video? Detroit Tigers, uh, they're 5-7 they're right now, three games back. 
uh, the two-game streak. Uh, they actually were involved in the Josh Hamilton injury yesterday. Pitching needs to be good. Justin Willen who can't do it all. Miguel Cabrera's going to have another MVP-like season. Uh, they're sleepers, but I don't think they'll win the Central. Yeah. Next, on to the team we covered yesterday, the Boston Red Sox. What does this team need to do in order to try to get... They're trying to get first place. Everybody said first place for this team. Is this team going to be a first place team with what we're seeing so far? Uh, you know, I don't really like to make judgments within the first couple of days of the season, but now it's starting to get kind of scared. Uh, this team is, was projected to win 100 games. Now it seems like 90 to 92 is within that realm is reasonable. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if they win the division now. And I usually don't get this paranoid about 10 games into the season, 11 games, whatever. But this is getting kind of scary. And for all you Red Sox fans, you have a right to be nervous. Yeah. Um, Boston needs help. So that's all I've got to say. Houston Astros, what can we say? What do they need to work on? And pretty much, what do we, what do they expect from this threat, this team? Uh, well, they're team that's rebuilding. Uh, they, they rely, they rely on the Rule Five draft this year. They got a couple of guys that are helping them. Uh, no, uh, um, they just, they're just rebuilding right now. They're not going to be good for a while. Um, Carlos Lee should trade them, get some prospects in return. Uh, Brent Myers might be gone. Uh, they're, they're I don't expect to win division. <laughs> yeah. On to the Redbirds. Albert Pujols, MVP or not? Uh, I'll say, I don't know, it's tough. I'll say yeah, because it's Albert Pujols. Starting out slow right now, I think like, the 200 range, where the Doe's a line. I, 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 would, uh, I think Pujols will have another MVP season and probably get the MVP again in his contract year. So you're staying reliable to your MVP pick. Yeah, yeah. On to the Giants. What do we have to say about this Giants team? Uh, well, Giants are in last place now, five and six. Um, they're in close games though. Uh, you know, I just think the offense needs to pick up a little bit. They're not really scoring any runs. Uh, San Fran, another favorite to win the West, but I think the Dodgers. I mean, not the Dodgers. Uh, the Rockies will win. Yeah. On to your favorite team, the Tampa Bay Rays. What does this team need to work on? Well, uh, you know, I, as you just said, a huge Tampa Bay fan. Watching their bullpen has just been, uh, you know, the time for this team to improve. Their pitching needs to improve, too. David Price had an awesome game the other night, but he, before that, he was 0 2 with a 4.85 ERA. Wade Davis needs to pick it up. Jeff Neiman needs to pick it up. Helixson's doing pretty good. Um, they need some more offense. That 16-line outburst is something else, but they need some offense. Uh, I think when Longo gets cut, it's when this team will really start to again. Yeah. yeah. And a quick, quick six teams left. we got to hurry this video up before the 15-minute mark. Richard, what does the Nationals need to do? Well, uh, the Nationals are rebuilding a lot of uh, prospects in Strasburg and obviously Bryce Harper, but I cannot stand and keep hearing about uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I have Jordan Zimmerman, who's a nice complement piece to the rotation. They got a couple of trade candidates like uh, Ivan Rodriguez. Uh, they have Adam Lowell, which is going to lead this uh, team at home runs. I think they're just another rebuilding team with the Astros. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to put, save the last four teams for the part three, a quick part three video. Um, we'll talk to you guys soon and enjoy some baseball. Sorry for these long videos, but it's totally worth it. Season is a couple a couple of days young, so let's just keep on watching this season and see what where your team stands.